Today, I'm excited to share with you some powerful scriptures that you should speak over your life every single day as you rise from bed. This is a key part of our series focused on identifying and combating demonic assaults on our health and well-being. If you're feeling like you're under spiritual attack, I urge you to hold on to this particular scripture because it holds the power to ignite faith, trust, and hope in our living God. Let's turn our attention to Mark 11 verses 20 to 24, which recounts this event. As they were passing by in the morning, the disciples noticed that the fig tree Jesus had cursed had completely withered from the roots up. Peter, recalling what had happened, remarked to Jesus, Rabbi, look, the fig tree you cursed has withered. And Jesus responded to them with this profound truth that we must declare over our lives, have faith in God. When I speak this scripture over my life, and believe me, I've declared it countless times, I'm reminded, and I want to remind you as well, that breakthrough and freedom in our lives are deeply rooted in the posture of faith in our Heavenly Father. If faith doesn't reside in your heart, then the experience of breakthrough may elude you. Doubt is always lurking, trying to infiltrate our hearts and minds to erode our trust in the very one who saves and delivers us. But you must consciously choose to live in a place where your life is anchored in trusting, hoping, and believing in the living God. His word is unwavering, and what he says will come to pass. Every morning, as I prepare to declare scriptures over my life, I begin by reaffirming my faith in God. Start your day with this declaration, Lord, I have faith in you. I trust you. I believe in you. I surrender to you in the name of Jesus. Affirm his word, reminding yourself that his word is life, it is a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. By declaring these truths over your life, you set yourself on a solid foundation of trust and faith, establishing a position where belief triumphs over doubt. Remember, the enemy despises it when you place your faith in God. If you sense demonic forces coming against your health, your life, or your family, reset your mind and spirit with the declaration, I have faith in God. Jesus goes on to say, Truly, I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in their heart, but believes that what they say will happen, it will be done for them. This is a powerful reminder that if we do not speak to the mountains in our lives, they will not move. In an upcoming series, we will explore the incredible power of words, especially in spiritual warfare against demonic forces. It's crucial that we understand this, as it plays a significant role in influencing the spiritual realm around us. We'll unpack these truths further so I encourage you to stay connected by subscribing. Through the power of prayer and the guidance provided in the prayer project, I'm here to support you in your moments of need. It's essential to remember that this promise isn't limited to pastors, evangelists, or healing ministers, it's for anyone, yes, anyone, who believes and speaks in faith. Are you that anyone? If so, you have everything you need to command any mountain to move. Why? Because you are a whosoever, and as long as you have breath in your lungs and faith in your heart, no mountain can stand in your way when you invoke the name of Jesus. The devil doesn't want you to grasp this truth. He wants you to think that you need someone else to pray for you to experience God's power. While James 5 does instruct us to call the elders of the church to pray over the sick, the enemy wants you to believe that you lack the ability to pray the prayer of faith yourself. But that's simply not true. 
If you are a believer, you are equipped with far more power than you realize. This is why I am here, to help you discover through the prayer project just how much authority you possess. You are the, whosoever, who can say to the mountain, be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and when you speak, mountains respond. Consider what challenges you are facing right now. This is why you must declare this scripture over your life each morning. Remind yourself, I will speak to the mountain, and it will move. Confront your challenges, your sickness, your pain, whatever it may be, in the name of Jesus. I've heard from people dealing with demonic manifestations like snakes appearing in their homes, and they feel helpless, crying out to God, feeling like heaven is silent. But heaven is not silent. As a Christian, you have been given the power and authority in the Holy Spirit to command those things to leave in Jesus' name. When illness strikes, speak to your body. Name the sickness, the disease, the pain, and command it in the name of Jesus. Whether it's back pain, cancer, or anything else, you have the authority to tell it to leave. The scripture says that if you command the mountain and do not doubt in your heart, but believe that what you say will happen, it will be done for you. Doubt is the enemy's weapon, causing hesitation and wavering between belief and unbelief. But when you declare scripture over your life in the morning, you are choosing to reject doubt and embrace faith. This is how I pray scripture over myself. I read this passage in the morning, and I affirm, I am one who does not doubt. I have full faith and trust in God. I believe that what I say in Jesus' name will come to pass. I thank God for his faithfulness, knowing that when I believe, he will act. It's simple but profound scripture, and even though some may not like this teaching, it's essential to declare it over yourself. Let me clarify, though, this isn't about praying for material wealth or luxury. We're focusing on spiritual warfare, dealing with demonic attacks against our health and lives. It's not about asking God for a red Ferrari or millions of dollars. What we need is to strengthen our faith and trust in God's promises. So, declare over your life, Father, I reject doubt in Jesus' name, and I believe that what I'm declaring will come to pass. Thank him for his unfailing faithfulness, knowing that he will answer because he is good. This is how I declare scripture each morning. I get on my knees, lift my hands high, open the scriptures, and praise his name. Some of you are under intense spiritual attack, but you've forgotten the power of getting on your knees before the Father. Instead of begging, start thanking, asking, and speaking in faith. Don't forget to thank God, ask Him for what you need, and speak His promises into your situation, because all of heaven is waiting to respond to your faith. Imagine if every Christian started their day by believing these truths and declaring them over their lives. Imagine the miracles, deliverances, and healings that would begin to break out in our world. The power of darkness would be shattered, and freedom would be released. So, I encourage you, start each day by declaring these scriptures over your life. Speak to your mountains and believe that they will move. If you want to dive deeper into Mark 11 verses 20 to 24 and learn how to apply this scripture to your life, I've written a short book called The Seven Secrets to Being Healed, which unpacks these verses in a powerful way. It's available as an ebook, and you can find the link in the description below. Also, Make sure to join us in our ongoing series on recognizing demonic attacks against your life. If you haven't watched it yet, 
I'll see you over there, and I'll see you in the book. God bless.